the forces that will afford them a good living and they won't be saddled with so much student loan debt. Now, when flooding hit the Delta, people in other parts of the state said, it's not my problem. Well, in 2005, when Hurricane Katrina ripped through our Gulf Coast, the people in other parts of the country, of the, of the uh, state said, that's not our problem. Well, when the tornado is driving through parts of Mississippi, some people said it's not their problem. But it is our problem. When one Mississippi hurts, we all hurt. And I want you all to remember that. Now, on education, uh, I want you to know that I've talked about these other candidates, so I think it's only fair that I tell you who I stand. And on education, I want to say this. That back in 1966, the politicians said that if we just legalized gambling, that would, that would uh, fully fund our education. And he did that, and that didn't work. About 25 years later, they also told us that if we just legalized gambling, sure, that would fully fund our education. Well, I gotta tell you something, people. We cannot drink and gamble our way to prosperity. We need jobs, a well-trained a well -trained workforce, and to, to teach, to help our young people meet the, the challenges of the jobs of tomorrow. I uh, fully believe that uh, our workforce is getting old, and we must help our, our elderly, and especially our veterans and our first responders. I stand here today before you uh, as a proud Mississippian, and I would love to ask you to vote for me in the uh, general election on November the 5th. And before I go, there's been millions and millions of our people that fought in these wars all over the world to make sure that we maintain our freedom and we are free here at home. And on that note, I would like to say God bless, thank you, and good afternoon. I have some press releases up in the press would like to see them. Take care of them. Thank you.